let's rank the starting quarterbacks in the NFC West from worst to best because it looks like to me there's four good quarterbacks in this division. Yeah, I mean statistically, Geno Smith is right up there right now. It's so weird. Gardner Minshew's there. This is the most it's bizarre hard. thing. It's very it's- hard. Because I started, I started looking into quarterbacks last seven games, and I looked at Geno. I looked at Kyler. I didn't look at Stafford, although I know his are pretty good too. I'll not counting the last two, and Brock's aren't up to his normal standard, but he did go to a freaking Super Bowl. So, uh, how would you rank him right now, knowing that this could change next week? Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, after two games, I don't, I don't think I'm going to change what my rankings were entering the season. I, I still don't fully trust Geno Smith. I, I think Geno, to me, Geno's better than people give him credit for, but better means. I don't know, 14th to 18th in the league, depending on what's going on around him. Um, so I would put him there. I think Kyler is locked in at top 15. Um, but it, from a talent aspect, I mean, the guy's probably top three from a pure talent standpoint. It's just a matter of when he puts it together. When he puts it together, Kyler is the most dangerous quarterback in the NFC when he puts it together. But the problem is that consistency hasn't been there. So until I see the consistency, I can't go that route. Um, Brock Purdy, to me, what he's done in, in his short career and showing the consistency, even though talent-wise he's not near what Kyler Murray is, I at least know what I'm going to get from him. Or Up until now, up until recently, I've known what I'm going to get from him. Um, if he looks bad against the Rams, I would probably flip-flop those two because it's like, all right, now you're not consistent anymore. But I'll give him the benefit of a, of another week. And then Matthew Stafford is the best quarterback in the NFC. He's a top seven quarterback in this NFL. I don't, I don't really care what anybody says. I get he'll turn the ball over and have some weird things. But Matthew Stafford is clutch. Matthew Stafford has a Super Bowl. There's not a throw that Matthew Stafford cannot make. Um, and Matthew Stafford is extremely tough. I, watching him, I don't. he was concussed against the the lions last year his eyes rolled in the back of his head he looked like he passed out he popped up and then just torched them the rest of the game it was absolutely incredible matthew stafford is amazing so i'll go with matthew stafford number one okay i I like your ranking very much let me try to do one myself so i'm gonna have to put geno smith last although Mm -hmm. in his last seven starts he has 12 touchdowns 10 passing two rushing and three picks so he is um he's a good quarterback. He's probably better than Darnold. Uh we just think of him as a bum because he always looks terrible against the 49ers, but yeah. you know the Ravens probably think Brock Purdy's a bum or or the Vikings probably think Brock Purdy's a bum. So you can't necessarily right. base it all on how he plays against one team. Um but still I would say that he's number 4. Um number 3 I would put Brock and again, I don't want to piss anyone off. I think he's a very good quarterback. Uh, I, th- I would put him at three. I'm going to put Kyler at two. And maybe people feel it's too premature. Maybe it is, all right? Here's my, here's my argument. Throw out everything he did with Cliff Kingsbury. Just throw that shit out. And focus on him coming back last year and playing for Jonathan Gannon and Drew Petzing, as I, I believe is his name. He was, mm-hmm. He's in the Kubiak Shanahan tree. He's, they're running like a, a standard offense now. And in the last seven games, which is a totally arbitrary number, last seven games, uh, 12 touchdowns, three picks for Kyler Murray, just like Gino. It's not not arbitrary. And the reason it's not for Kyler specifically, maybe it is for Gino or Stafford, whoever. Um, But for Kyler, it's not because he was coming off of a devastating injury and it took him a few games to get fully back. So for him, it's actually not arbitrary. And he was with the new offensive coordinator as well. He was trying to learn that. So I don't think that's an arbitrary number for him specifically. Not to talk too much about Kyler, because Niner fans for sure don't care, but the way I see about it is like when he had DeAndre Hopkins in his prime, he was putting up numbers and they were winning. Even with Cliff Kingsbury, who's awful. He's the offensive coordinator for Washington right now, and I think they, like, mm-hmm. they're like they throwing like 38% of their passes behind the line of scrimmage. So, so Cliff Kingsbury, his whole offense is throwing the ball sideways, and I don't get it because Kyler has a freaking cannon. Mm-hmm. So now he's in an offense where he's allowed to throw the ball down the field, and it looks good. He also has a wide receiver who can get down the field in Marvin Harrison Jr., and so far it looks good. So I admit I may be jumping the gun, but if you watch what he did last week against the Rams, there are so many plays where you're like, I don't know how many other guys could do that. I don't know how many other guys well, could do that. Not just Purdy. I, I will like, say I don't know if no. Stafford could do that. Like, 
No, wow. no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. He's yeah. he's the most talented in the NFC. I think if you were to pull coaches, defensive coordinators throughout the league, and say who puts who is harder to game plan for, Kyler or Brock? I think the unequivocal. I mean, probably it might be like thirty-two to zero on this. They would be like, yeah, Kyler. That doesn't necessarily make him the better quarterback. And True. I respect where you're going. He's for sure I the better it. athlete. I got to sure. see it more, but, yep. but as far as like striking fear in, in somebody's heart, Kyler Murray is up there with, with Lamar, Allen and Mahomes. Like it's those four guys, but can you do it consistently? That's the hard part. So far it's been seven games. We'll and see. He, yep, I mean, it's yep. won four of them. So he has a lot to prove. And of course, Stafford, the Super Bowl winner can't knock him because his receivers are hurt.